We have been waiting for you. Welcome, Chosen One. We are so very happy to meet you at last. I am Copernicus, the Goddess of Light. I'm Thelema, Goddess of Shadows. We have brought you here because we have a matter of grave urgency we need your help with. You've received and accepted an invitation to Sub Rosa, exactly where we need you. For you see... Without your help, there are five girls that are doomed to perish! Chosen One, it is real. Do not allow your heart to dismiss this as myth and fancy. Well, it's sort of a dream, but we're real, and the danger is more so. Here is the task. Each of the five girls you must save are living in Sabrosa, and each of them are concealing secrets that will prove fatal if not brought to light. They could be hiding them from their families, their friends, or even themselves. Secrets are funny like that. You must find each of these five destined girls. You must gain their trust and friendship, and maybe even their hearts, so that they will open to you. Only once you know their secrets can you hope to save them. If they don't trust you, they won't tell you. Do whatever you can to gain their trust, admiration, affection, lust, whatever works. No! We need you to gain their trust. Put your full heart into it. If you hesitate or hold back, you may lose them. You're saving their life, so do what you gotta do. The how is up to you. And while you are working to rescue them, you may be presented with situations that require difficult choices. I implore you to follow your heart and stay in the path of the light at nearly any cost. But of course, not the cost of their lives. If you have to lie, cheat, steal, or inflict a little violence, that's just the way it is. But your quest can be done with the hero's way. Sure, but if you get stuck between a rock and a hard place... Well, who's judging you? We're 
without touching them. Yes, but only to prove something to each other. Whatever their choices are, the lives of the five destined are your only concern. But try to be heroic. Or not. Do you understand all we have said? Do you accept your quest? Do it. It'll be fun. You may have time to pick up a few other lovers in the meantime. Thelema! Don't distract them! What do you say? Yay or nay? Me so happy. Okay, good. This wasn't a monumental waste of time. Travel to Sabrosa, find the destined five girls, and discover the secrets which are imperiling their lives. And spoiler warning: if you pull off this quest, we have a special reward for. Please don't let us down. Thelema, I'm not sure if this was necessary. They seemed perfectly motivated. Shh, you're cute when you're being all prophetic and quest-giving. <laughs> Thelema?
on your quest, you'll be meeting lots of different characters, and you'll need to figure out the best way to interact with them. In every conversation, you'll be given different options on what to say or do. If you pick a good option, you'll be awarded heart points. This is a great sign that you're making progress. Some options, however, will be locked behind requirements. Sometimes this means you need better stats or more money in order to choose them. One cool thing, though, is that if you use a stat to pick an option, that skill will go up. Every day, you'll be given two chances to work on your stats or earn money at a job. This happens at dawn and dusk. If you see an option with a secret lock that you can't even read, it means you need something else. This might be information from another character or a secret you need to uncover. Also, pay attention here, your stats and jobs are split into two different types, light karma and dark karma. Light karma jobs and skills are virtuous, exemplary, and at least legal. Dark karma jobs and stats are not those things. They involve shady or illegal things, but they pay more. If you see a choice that involves using one of your dark karma stats, you should know that those will award you dark karma points. However, light karma points are much, much rarer, and they may not involve light karma stats at all. You must truly quest for the most heroic and good choices to earn them. What do light and dark karma points do? Mostly affect the ending of the story, so choose wisely. Here's an example of the kinds of choices you'll find in Hush Hush. You got heart points! Good job! To find the right people to talk to, check out your map. Any locations you see mean that there's something to do there. That's called an event. Events that are highlighted in gold will advance the time of day, and the ones highlighted in purple will not. So consider doing purple ones first. You will often get invited to events through your phone. Characters will text you and ask you out, or tell you where they're hanging out. It's up to you to decide which events to accept or ignore. Just be careful, though. If you accept an invite and don't show, the person you stand up will be mega hurt or insulted, naturally. You'll be able to tell how each of the destined girls are doing by checking out the Contacts tab. Each girl's mood and affection are affected by the heart points you earn while talking to them. If a girl's mood drops too low, she may fall victim to an unfortunate accident. So, make sure to manage your schedule, don't double book any dates at the same time, and pick the best options for every person you speak to. Some girls may want you to be sweet, and some may want you to be sassy. Some may not appreciate you being flirty at all. All in all, you gotta do your best guesses, try different strategies, and have fun. If you have to start from the beginning, that's okay. There are a few different ways to win. Will you try to be more friend than lover? Will you lie, cheat, and steal to win? The choices are up to you. In a moment, you'll be shown the map. There's only one event to choose from, so pick it and begin your adventure in Sub Rosa. Best of luck! And if you need hints on the best way to learn each of the girls' deepest secrets, visit the location marked Hints on your map. Mystic will help you there. For a price. On with the show!
just not fair! Curse you adorable little flying disc! Turning against me, I shall have my revenge! Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you as I was flailing around, trying to snatch this little beauty from the skies. Ah, <sighs> how unfortunate. We almost bumped into each other. That could have been awkward and interesting. Ah, just my luck. First I miss a catch, and then I almost miss a catch. Well, don't just stand there looking scrumptious. Say something flirty. Wonderful icebreaker it is, darling. Stay right there. You don't realize it, but you've made me the happiest queen in the kingdom. <gasps> This'll only take a moment. Yoo-hoo! Hero! Gosh, Eli. You're so lazy today, even for you. I'm not sure you and I have the same idea of what go long means, but it means you need to run. Darling, I'm garbage without a pair of heels. And I can guarantee that I have a much different meaning for the phrase, go long. Ah, uh, my favorite part of going to the beach. The part where Eli talks about penises. Speaking of polite conversation, who's this? Eero, my dear sister. This sweet little sour key has mistaken me for the beautiful maiden that I am. Which means I have won the bet. The dress looks better on me. I win. Are you serious? We've only been here nine minutes. Oh, the truth hurts, and your tears are like the sweet brine of a victory at sea. Pay up! I want to buy something utterly useless and inappropriate. Rush, stupid, sexy Eli. Wonderbar! All right, I'll be back shortly. The two of you should chat, though. You have so much in common now. <laughs> Ugh. I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Eli already has to help me with my makeup and hair. Now it's going to be my wardrobe, too. that compliment right in there, eh? Smooth moves. Actually, I had nothing to do with this bikini. Eli works at that super posh boutique in the mall and picked it up for me without an employee discount. This would have cost me a few wins. It's a little revealing for me, but I don't bust my buns in the gym for nothing, I suppose. The name's Zero, by the way. And the magic space princess that ran off with my money is Eli. As you can tell, we've got a thing for rainbows. And don't even get us started on ponies. No, really. We get real awkward real fast. I'd say judging from the lack of dam lines, you're probably from out of town. Nicely done. I see that you're aware of the shortest route to a girl's heart is through her ridiculously toned arms. Well, you seem like a normal person with normal intentions, 
And given some of the locals I know, normal is a pretty endearing trait. Well, I'm gonna hang ten for a bit. The tide is calling for me. No, seriously, look. Can you see? It's waving. Oh man, I'm so funny. Anyway, nice chatting. Maybe I'll see you around. Hello! I'm back! Actually, I never left. I was spying on you guys from over there. I was hoping you'd make a nice impression on my lovely sister. You see, she is part orangutan and does not know how to socialize. Her friends and I are always trying to help hook her up. Ah, oh, alas, orangutan. And she's such a cutie, too. I wish I had inherited the same butt jeans she has. But maybe I'm off the mark here. You've got this look about you. What is this look, even? Slow it down, you saucy potato. Acting like a creeper is really more of a third date sort of thing. The trick with Eero is that she's super off the market right now. She's been practically a nun for the last nine months. Her last breakup was ugly. So the only way to spike that football is to take it to the end zone. And by end zone, I mean friend zone. Oh, I just made a little sports analogy. Eero would be so proud of me. Yes, you should be thinking less tight pants and more pajama bottoms. Be a friendly friend. Get to know her while avoiding anything sexual. This honestly sounds like kind of a nightmare, but you can do it. So unless you've got mad game and you can prove me wrong, I would suggest trying to keep your eyes off her redonkulously supple cleavage for a few outings, and she's likely to relax her guard. Think you can handle that? back there. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? You two look like you've seen a ghost. Of a sort, my dear. More like the icy pail of flesh that hasn't seen the sun in years. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I guess the girls could use a little more tanning. People are generally a bit uptight when you surf naked, though. was an avalanche of awkward. Darling, just, just no, no. Let's hit the road, Eli. That bikini is lost at sea. And I've flashed enough strangers today. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. At least if we get pulled over, the chances of escaping a ticket are hella good right now. <laughs> it was nice chatting with you. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. This isn't over. You know, darling, I've 
hadn't have thought about why we bake cookies and cook bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. It must be a mistake though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like the president of words? Ew, sweetie. That's not a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue bust of Beyonce I made. That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. Oh, hello. A customer. How long you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Cathy. Welcome to my bakery. My name is Bonnie Bell. You let me know if you see anything you like and I'll wrap some up for you. Oh, darling. <laughs> Bless your heart. That pickup line is downright spectacular for how bad it is. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't eat anything with hair on it. It's almost never there on purpose. <laughs> you two are just the cutest. Hold on. I'll get some free samples. Maybe you can take another try at that order there, darling. Welcome. My name is Elle. It's nice to meet you. Whoops, that's my alarm. I'm late for being early to my book club. Oh. Thank you. 
That's interesting. I'm always this forward. It makes it easier to walk without tripping over things. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry. I really am out of time. Thank you for your number. Maybe we'll chat another time. See you later. All right, sweeties. I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli, so you know they're good for you. Oh, Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart yourself, so I'll give you a hand. Here's a little old tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. I'll give you a few for the road, on the house. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm gonna come at you with my wooden spoon. And by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs> Hot stuff, welcome to Rated A Arcade, where the beer and boobs aren't pixelated. Here are your complimentary quarters. This month is our hot coffee special. Free lattes with the purchase of 100 tokens, because my boss thinks ancient memes are dank. My name is Mio, and I'll be your server. And just like a great game server, I never go down. So don't ask. <laughs> what can I get you, sweetheart?